Hello everyone, this is Latasha Blanton from the Real South Africa Travel and Tourism. And you're gonna have the opportunity to travel with Phil Scott to... Sunny South Africa. You guys are gonna have the opportunity to come to Johannesburg and you guys are gonna be coming to Durban. And we're gonna set it up perfectly. It's gonna be like a luxury experience for you guys. At the same time, you're gonna be getting some culture. And of course, you're gonna get an opportunity to talk to Phil, hang out with Phil, and get his views on Africa and South Africa. You're also gonna get an opportunity to explore the lifestyles here that are available in South Africa. And we're gonna do all that for you in an amazing 10 days. We do hope that you go to the website and book because we do look forward to seeing you here. Absolutely, our website is therealsouthafrica.com. Go there, scroll down, you'll see a picture of Phil and just go ahead and book there. So we'll see you here in what we like to call sunny, sunny South, South Africa. Africa. Not too long ago, political strategist and pundit, just to name a few things, David Axelrod, he said that President Joe Biden should think about stepping aside uh, in the next election for the sake of the country. Now, it's no secret that the country really ain't feeling Joe Biden like that anymore, and that includes the Democrats as well. Well, David Axelrod got a lot of pushback from the Biden administration, basically saying that, you know, David Axelrod never gave him a fair shake and all of that. Now, you've probably heard David Axelrod's name before. Well, he was a uh, campaign advisor to former President Barack Obama and a political consultant while in the White House to the Ab Obama administration. And so I think David Axelrod knows his stuff and he is well respected in political circles, not just the Democrats, but the Republicans as well. And so to hear someone like David Axelrod say, hey, Biden might need to you know, think about stepping aside for the next election. Well, that's kind of a stinger if you ask me, because, you know, he should, as what the Democrats would, I imagine, think is be on their side and say, oh, no. Joe Biden is still out there. He's out there saving the soul of the country. You got to give him a minute, right? Well, y'all can see what's going on with the country. I don't need to tell y'all that. But the Biden administration is saying, well, you know, they said that about Obama when he was running for the second time uh, for president, that, oh, he was down in the polls and this, that, and the other, and he came back to be victorious. And so the Biden administration is saying, well, it's going to be the same thing for us. Of course, if you guys have been watching the news, you see that if the election were to be held today, that Trump would win against that of uh, President Biden. So a lot of people are really nervous because they don't want Trump to go back into the White House for a whole host of reasons. And so, again, uh, that does not make the Biden administration feel good to hear a juggernaut in uh, the political arena like David Axelrod saying, hey, buddy, you might need to go on and, you know, retire now because if you are in the race, it's not going to look so good for the Democrats. And so I don't know. I, I agree with David, but I don't think that's a no brainer. But if you know anything about the Biden administration, especially Joe Biden, you ain't going to tell him what to do. I know what I'm talking about. You guys need to listen to me. And so I guess it just really remains to be seen. But as of now, President Biden ain't stepping down. He was like, hold my beer. I'm going to run again. You guys watch. So y'all tell me what you think of that. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show here on YouTube. Peace.